Okay, as you can see in today's video, this is what we're going to be doing. We are going to be determining the force, uh, the magnitude and the direction of force on parallel wires have currents flowing in the opposite direction. Let's just get started. So first, what we're going to do in the first part of the video is determine the direction of the forces, and then at the end, we'll do a problem where we calculate the magnitude of the force on each of those two wires. And first, we're going to determine the force of uh, the force on number two from number one. So this is wire number two, which it says current number two flowing through it down. This is wire number one, it says current one flowing through it up, and we want to know the force on two due to number one. Because as you know, when you have a wire, a long straight wire with a current flowing through it, then you're going to have a magnetic field around that wire. And you can use one of the right-hand rules to determine the direction of the uh, magnetic field around that wire. You take your thumb, you point it in the direction of the current, you kind of reach in and grab that wire, and your fingers wrap around, your fingers represent the magnetic field, and that means that the current moves up and the magnetic field goes in that direction uh, counterclockwise if you're looking from the top. That means on the left-hand side of the wire, it's coming out of the screen, and on the right-hand side, it's going into the screen. On the left-hand side of this wire, the magnetic field comes out. On the right-hand side, it goes into the screen. That means that this wire is completely surrounded by a magnetic field that is moving into the screen. That's the magnetic field from wire number one. Okay, so now we have a current in number two, and it is in a magnetic field, and that means that this wire is going to feel a force due to this magnetic field. Okay, and we can determine the direction of that force, once again, using our right hand. We're going to point our thumb in the direction of the current. We're going to place our fingers or point our fingers in the direction of the magnetic field, which is into the screen. And that means that our palm points in the direction of the force. And the direction of the force on number two, this is to my right. Okay, my right, that means the force on two is to the right. Okay, so that is the direction of that force. Now we can also determine the direction of the force on number one. So we're going to determine the direction of the force on one from two. Well, one wire number two also has a current flowing through it. Its current is flowing down. We're going to reach in and grab that wire. And you can see now on the right-hand side, the current, the magnetic field is coming out of the screen. And on the left-hand side, it's moving into the screen. And we can draw the magnetic field like that. And we can designate that once again with our X's and our points. On the left-hand side, the magnetic field is moving into the screen. On the right-hand side, it's moving out of the screen. And that means that this wire, no wire number one, is completely surrounded by a magnetic field from wire number two that's moving into the screen. All right, and now we can determine, using the right-hand rule, to determine the direction of the force on number one from the magnetic field due to wire number two. We're going to point our thumb in the direction of the current, which is up. Once again, we're going to place our fingers pointing into the screen, because that's the direction of the magnetic field. And now our palm points to the left. This is my left. And that means that the force on number one from number two is to the left. We can redraw the force on number two from number one. That's to the right. And that tells us that if we have currents that are flowing in the opposite direction, then there will be a force of repulsion between those two wires. One is to the left, the other force is to the right. You will remember, of course, from the previous video that we determined the direction of the forces when the uh, currents are going in the same direction. In that case, there's a force of attraction between those two wires. Okay? So that is how we determine the direction of the force. Now let's determine the amount of force. So this is the situation that we have. We have wire number two again, a current is flowing down. It's surrounded by the magnetic field from wire number one. Wire number one has a current in it of 3.5 amperes. Wire number two, 4.5 amperes. The length, now this is the length, not the entire length necessarily, but the length that's in the magnetic field of number two is 50 centimeters. And the distance between these two wires is three millimeters. And we now want to know what is the magnitude of the force on wire number two. Now, this is the equation we use to calculate the magnitude of the force on a wire that has a current through it that is in a magnetic field. But we have to remember we have ones and twos. We have wire one and wire two. And we have to remember we want to know the force on number two. That means we're going to use the current in number two. 
the length of two that's in the magnetic field, but it's in the magnetic field due to B1, okay, or wire number one. So we have to use the magnetic field here from wire number one, not wire number two. And we can have to calculate that first because we don't know that magnetic field strength. So this is the equation we use to calculate the strength of a magnetic field that has a current, a wire that has, from a wire that has a current in it, a given distance r away from that wire. And in this case, r is three millimeters. Now, I could just substitute this equation, because here's B1 and here's B1. I could substitute this equation into here, and I would just have I2 times L2 times I1 times B1 times mu naught, okay, divided by 2 pi r. But, and it's not a difficult equation, but I like to calculate the magnetic field strength from B1 first and then substitute that into the first equation. So I'm going to calculate first the magnetic field strength from B1 uh, with current one a distance three millimeters away from wire number one. We just plug the values in. Uh, mu naught is four pi times 10 to the minus seven tesla meter ampere. And then we have the current from one, which is 3.5 amperes. And we divide that by 2 pi r. r has to be in meters. This is 3 millimeters. So this is 3.0 times 10 to the minus 3 meters. And we get that the magnetic field strength from wire number one, 3 millimeters away from wire number one, is 2.3 times 10 to the minus 4 teslas. Now we can take that value and plug it back into our original equation. This is the force of the wire with a current, okay, and length and a current in the magnetic field. And we can plug those values in. And we get the force on wire number two is 0 0.5 meters, because this has to be in meters, uh, 4 amperes. And the magnetic field strength we calculated at that point where wire number two is due to wire number one was 2.3 times 10 to the minus 4 teslas. And in the end, you get that the force on number two from the magnetic field due to wire number one is 4.7 times 10 to the minus 4 newtons. Okay, and it's to the right. Now we could also calculate the force on one from two, but uh, good to good old Newton, thanks to good old Newton, it is uh, equal but opposite forces or equal but opposite reactions that the, the magnitude of the force would be the same, but just be pointing in the opposite direction. Okay, so there you go. That's how you determine the direction and the magnitude of the force uh, from parallel wires that have currents flowing through them in the opposite direction. Thanks for watching. I hope you found that video very helpful. If you did, please do all the following four things. Subscribe to my channel. Get all my excellent physics, chemistry, and math videos. Uh, give me a thumbs up for this video. Leave a nice positive comment in the comment section below. And don't forget, sharing is caring. Share this video with all of your friends. Show them how much you care.